that is a weird sequence of kind of songs that I just came up across one after the other. And yeah, it's it's very bizarre. This um this line of Judah channel is something that I've really, really liked in the last few days because it's it's kind of you know, I, I I used to look at a lot of Christian channels and you know, there was lots about the you know, the Babylon the Great and the Antichrist, but none were really like that like well produced or anything. And I don't know what's going on with the the, the Judah channel, the line of Judah channel, but um they seem to be producing a lot of stuff very fast and there seems to be loads of stuff just popping out and um i don't know if there's a how many people are involved in this but those videos must take a long time because you have to like plan you know every sentence and and get the right topics and then get the imagery you know, i'm sure they could take it you know if, if if i'm when i'm making videos like a day i could i could spend three days doing one video or a day doing a video um but they seem to be being able to produce them quite quickly so they must have like a team of people and um but yeah I, i'm definitely liking that channel and i'm seeing lots of others as well i don't want it to just be one like just to be about one channel um there's like grace for purpose but i i don't really i'm not as sure about the others like how how much they know or if they are following but with, with the line of judah one i definitely feel like they're they're watching my videos and making videos accordingly and and that's so you know I, I i feel really good when watching even though they're negative even though they're they're, they're positive they're about a, a disaster coming a disaster that i don't want to have anything to do with but at the end of the day i've been bullied by christians for a very very long time so much so that i've tried to just blank it out and pretend that it's not happening and you know christians are, are the worst because they're the ones that claim to be seeking christ claim to love christ claim to want to you know follow and everything about christ when in reality the only christ that they're thinking about is the one that's talked about in the bible in matthew mark luke and john who just says lies and is is you know clearly not really a i can't say not a good person but he's just a normal guy and he's obviously lying about a lot of the miracles you know, he can't move mountains and things like this and and then i i was i've been looking at the sophie alice bexer songs and it's weird because I, I haven't even listened to any of her songs in the last three years i i did you know say make a connection with her name and my sister um but i remember at the time i did that even though i did make a, a connection between her and my sister i a lot of her songs didn't really connect with my sister because my sister was in you know a long-term relationship i didn't really know that much about her because she's only ever speaking with her husband and i really hardly hardly ever get involved in her life you know i was assuming that she was just normal and living a, a sort of very normal state stable life and i was happy for her um and she never tried to help me or get involved every time i tried to talk to her about it she would just like put the phone down or just not be interested or, or tell me to shut up and start screaming that, that happened a few times when I was trying to get her to tell you know I was trying to tell her that I was a Leo in my past life and she's just stop it stop it like, like really seriously trying to not not wanting to know anything about what anything that I was going through um and then the, the divorce happened and and then she started I don't know I just saw a completely different side to her I saw one that was slightly crazy slightly scatty um one that you know I, I always thought that the reason why she wasn't really close to me is because of george and you know i think i find he's a he's a cambridge boffin who cares about maths and money and things that i'm just not interested in so i don't have that much in common with him and i guess i thought we weren't close because of that and but after they fell up the relationship fell apart you know my mom was de devastated over not being able to see the grandchild and she just didn't even want to talk about the grandchild just in the same way that she didn't want to talk about my religion or my belief she didn't want to talk about her child like that's seriously bad you know you can't even bear to have someone bring up your child's name you've just given birth to a child a child that you spent three years trying to have and you're just completely wanting to reject him and scream and you know she, she when my mom was talking about it in the car like she was literally wanting to open the car door when it when we were moving on a motorway and just jump out the car like that's that was what how much she didn't want to think about her son i just it, i don't understand how someone could be like that i know she was going through obviously mental breakdown and 
okay that that's that is the cause of it but yeah during this this mental breakdown she just was i don't know something very very wrong with her and um and yeah i, I don't want to go into details about like how, how kind of how bad it was but she she did once call me saying that she's just on a mo well i called her actually to find out where she was because my mum called me saying that she said he's not picking up her phone so i thought i'll try and she, she said that she was on a motorway on the side of a motorway and she was just going to walk till she finds a hotel and i was like you, you can walk as much as you want on the motorway but you won't walk to a hotel because hotels aren't on motorways um and she kind of didn't know that so it's that's just a taster of of what she went through and you know she went to brighton she you know she, she we, we all thought it would be a few months of, of break and then she would go back and seek for a child and it, it wasn't a few months she was more about six months before she started taking an interest in wanting to see her child and although it obviously wasn't good enough because she did reject one christmas call that she could have seen and and then yeah after that george cancelled all the other three that we were planning on doing and and um, he got rest restraining orders on her in, in November, so I don't think he, she could have even gone to the house or something in December, but I don't know, George has made it worse for her, you know, if you've spent 13 years kind of loving someone and then for them to just treat you like your garbage is, you know, it's is bad, um, and I'm sure that made her, her condition worse um so i i don't want to say it's all her fault it, it, george needs to take some responsibility for it and he's not he wasn't helping her like reconnect or you know it's completely banning her and, and treating her like nothing which is crazy considering they were living together like all the time every t every day it was like you know they, they were like two people attached at the hip for, m for most of those 12 years and yeah I, I barely even saw them because they were always together and i didn't particularly like him so but yeah and then yeah and then she just started dating one guy from another another and then there's a, there's a you know sophie alice specter one where she's saying how much i love you and it's all about you know i i want you and only you but in the in the video she's doing it to lots of different guys and yeah sophie was very much had a stage of that um i don't want to yeah go on too much but yeah the sophie alice Spector character i there was a few songs that kind of reminded me of sophie and i noticed the name hence why I, I made a page about her ages ago but now i'm watching all these songs that i've never seen before and i don't know when she did them because i wasn't following her work or anything um but yeah catch you is definitely about the the lion um the lion of judah channel um i've never seen this video before and it, it happens to I, I watch it just at the same time that I've just been watching loads of his channels and I, it reminds me of the Virgin song and out of all the Madonna songs you know I, I have talked about a lot of them and I felt really connected and linked to a lot of them but the, the Like a Virgin one was always one of the ones that I, I couldn't kind of work out like who is the lion I think I might have like years ago I might have said that maybe maybe the lion represents God or something and it's showing that but I don't think the lion represents God, you know, lions are, are kind of killers and God's not supposed to be a killer and God doesn't want to be a killer. But at the end of the day, there's there's too many people here and, and something needs to be done about it. So um, she needs to work with a lion and lions are not killers, but they, you know, it's 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 their part of their, their makeup and it needs to happen and, and they, they need to eat, they need to, to live. My sister is a deer, like out of all the, the all the animals that there are, you know, I think a deer is probably one of the most ones that's similar to, to her, you know, it's kind of reminds me of Bambi. I don't, I can't remember though if Bambi's mum died or if she just ran away. There was a fire. She got scared and ran away. And yeah, the baby was kind of left alone. I don't know if, if Bambi's mum died or something, but yeah, there was probably arguments between the husband Sophie and her George and then she just ran away and you know she doesn't like confrontation she is slightly autistic she doesn't have very many facial expressions she can do facial expressions but it's not very that um it's something, a lot of the time it's quite bland um I think it's part of autism not being able to express emotions very well but she can do it sometimes um but yeah
I don't know, she doesn't have the same coloured hair as, as Sophia Aspector, but she's taller than me and um, usually slim and, yeah, and large cheekbones as well. So there, there are definitely similarities. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then what else have I talked about? I've talked about the Demi Rato 17 song. Um, I don't know when she revealed that she had an older relationship, but I've seen a video, a few videos now that's talking about this older relationship. And I didn't even know that she, anything, I haven't seen any, like, I, I listened to some of her songs and that 17 song always stood out because it was like, it doesn't relate to me. How does this relate to me? And I was trying to figure out how it relates to me and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And then I, I had another listen today and then it's like, oh, wait, this is about, I'm, I'm trying to, I stopped, I stopped relating the song to me and I started relating to the song to her. And then I got what it was talking about um, because I was, I was thinking more about her. And then, and then I was able to make the connection because it was like, oh, wait, they didn't, um, Aaliyah date someone who was 29 and um, when she was a kid. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I see the the I, I see the connections. Although I, I feel like there's a, another connection, which is that um, you know, seventeen twenty nine is about a seven day war, and you know, there's there are things in the song about you know, is it your fantasy or is it mine? And you know, this seven year tribulation, I, it's not God's fantasy. It's not what God really wants. But at the same time, it's kind of what has to happen. And she's, I think, God is confused as to whether this seven year tribulation is going to be man's fantasy or her fantasy or you know how has this come about why is it this long and what's going to happen during it and I, I don't know what's going to happen I know there's going to be stages like like they always always are um I, I think I do have to to fake my death and hide but at the same time I, I don't really know at what point or what stage that needs to happen um I think it needs to happen when people start believing that I am the antichrist and I think that's going to happen at the beginning I think there's going to be sort of two comings of me first one that I'm rejected mostly there needs to be people that agree and believe um because if these people don't believe and agree then then there's no way I could be considered the antichrist that I have to say that I'm God and have some people believe and some people not believe um and it's the ones that believe that will sort of get the ones that don't believe to think that I am the antichrist because they'll be like well you've got all these people believing and I think there needs to be something about me making love with all the kings or whatever I, I just um I still play all the prophecies I, I I I keep saying I hate everyone which I do but at the same time I am um, it's only because I don't really know anyone in my life other than the clients that I see and I I don't want to say bad things about them but you know it's I, I haven't got a good life so um and yeah and I still don't know how long it's going to be or anything um and but yeah um I just I think those two so I I have a new likeness to the the virgin that Madonna like a virgin song but before I, I didn't connect with it at all really because it was like this is not how you know Martin does not make me feel shiny and new he makes me feel confused and and shit about myself because he's ignoring me and I don't think any any guy has really made me feel shiny and new no guy has ever made me feel shiny and new so that would be one of the song one of Madonna's only songs that I don't necessarily connect with um but when I'm listening to the Lion of Judah songs I do feel shiny and new why because they're promoting you know the antichrist in a really amazing way and giving power to the antichrist by saying in, in just how they say it like um you know he will have dominion and stuff and um and and the power that this this figure will have which is something that i am looking for and would like um and it's power but it's like in a negative way and i think that's that's it's like shiny and new because it's different to um um me being christ or just i don't know it's different than to before and some of the there's people that talk about babylon the great but they don't they don't do it in in that nice sort of dramatic way they do it more as just just pure blunt cold insults um but anyway